So yesterday we uh, took this test piece of plywood that has three different match fit dovetail grooves in it and the idea was to try out different finishes and see which ones might be the best performing when you're trying to use match fit dovetail clamps in match fit dovetail grooves. They're really not match fit dovetail grooves, they're just dovetail grooves. So I had done this section here with uh, Watco Danish oil. This one happens to be natural color. Uh, and this is Baltic birch plywood. I did the middle section with a Verithane Ultimate Polyurethane that was water-based and that was interior and it's matte, M-A-T-T-E. And then I did this section over here with 50% boiled linseed oil and 50% uh, paint thinner or, or uh, mineral spirits. All right, so they've dried overnight and now we're ready to test them to see which one we might want to put on any kind of a jig or in this case the pop-up workbench so that these will slide. So let me get these out of the way. I've got these marked. Danish oil, water-based polyurethane, and boiled linseed oil. So let's see how this clamp slides in the polyurethane. Try to get it in there, try to move it along, uh, jiggle it, push it, you know, everything you can. And when I did this, the first coat, it uh, boiled up, as you know, or feathered up because of the uh, water base. So I sanded that off, and then I did the second coat, and that's what has dried. And I also made sure I wiped as much as I could inside of the groove so that I didn't have buildup of excessive polyurethane in there. And I think maybe the water base swells up the wall of the match fit groove. And so you could probably sand it down enough and use a little small uh, chisel and, and get it working better, but that's a lot of work. Let's see if using a different finish is just an easier way. So here's the 50-50 boiled linseed oil. Put that in there and <laughs> again uh, and I'm not playing to the camera here this is this is real this boiled linseed oil boom as long as you don't let it build up there too much and then here's the Danish oil is that gonna stick like the polyurethane man that is that is cool. Here's the result. Danish oil, uh, Watco Danish oil works great. The boiled linseed oil, as long as you make sure you wipe your grooves very well, 50-50 uh, mix, that works great. So just decide which look you like the best, which one. This is a little uh, rougher. And as you know, workbench tops are not supposed to be sliding around a lot. I'm going to use the Danish oil, but then I'm going to sand it when I'm through on the very top uh, to rough it up a little bit uh, so that I don't have things slide too much on my workbench. That is the small workshop guy's test of what I'm going to use in the future for my match fit dovetail clamp jigs of various types. I hope you found that useful. Please give me a like, a comment, a share, and a subscription, and I could still use a, a few patrons. Fact is, I think if you hurry, you can be one of my first 10 patrons.